Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best possible MP5 class setup. In my opinion, this gun is the best in the game. It's the gun I use most often. It's my most uh, killed weapon. I've just got over 5,000 kills with it. So, I use it quite a bit, pretty much every single game. And I'm sort of the kind of person who has one gun and just will not use any other gun. Uh, I was saying Black Ops 4, I was having my dogs with a sword, but nothing else. Uh, same for this game, which is pretty much MP5. I use the M4 occasionally, um, and other guns here and there, like, like the Growl, I've only just started using that though. I've never used it, I didn't use it early last season when it was released. Uh, and my mic seems to be having a. I don't know what. Um, but, um, yeah. So we're going to hop straight to the class setup. Here is the MP5. You can take note of my perks and my equipment, but that's really is up to you. Um, I would just recommend a EOD, regardless, um, just because there's so many explosives in this game and just to be able to survive them because it's quite overpowered to a fair. You know, if you're full health, you're gonna survive any explosive that's thrown at you. Uh, but obviously if you are injured then it's like you don't have EOD so it's gotta be careful of that. Uh, and I would also recommend Stim in my opinion as well. Anyway, hopping straight into the class setup. For the battle we have the um, subsonic integral suppressor. I mean look at the benefits it has for the decrease in bullet velocity, which this thing still beams at range in the gameplay you're going to see. I absolutely beam people at range on annual excursion. Um, which you will see, so there is proof, I'm not even lying, this thing beams at range uh, even with a suppressor on, so don't be worried about that whatsoever uh, but it has so many benefits, so uh, sound suppression, no visible traces, aim down sight speed is increased and when you kill an enemy the skull doesn't appear um, as well, so it keeps you off the radar, proper stealthy uh, then we have the f tac collapsible stock, movement speed and aim down sight speed is increased for aiming stability and recoil control this thing has a little recoil anyway and it still has a little recoil with these decreases as well and the pros of this attachment are massive uh, movement speed and aim down, aim down sight speed are huge in this game Perk is fully loaded, every single one I use in this game has fully loaded. At the start of the game we would have opted for frangible wounding, um, but fully loaded is the way to go, you want to add on way too quickly in this game. So, fully loaded, make sure you've got it on. Rear grip, we have the stippled grip tape, again it's the increased aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed. Uh, with a decrease of aim and stability, but like I said this thing is still a laser, honestly. I mean it literally doesn't like, the cons do not affect this weapon whatsoever. Um, the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed are huge as well in this game and this thing aims in super quick and the sprint to fire speed is super quick as well so it gives you such a big advantage when uh, running on the map and playing aggressive um, I like to play aggressive although the gameplay you do see isn't a kind of an aggressive gameplay but there is a reason why it's not aggressive because pretty much everybody starts to leave the game which is a shame but it's a decent gameplay nonetheless uh, ammunition with the 45 round mag you can opt for the um, the increased damage ma uh, mags the 10 round ones no 10 millimeter 30 round mags uh, i don't know why i didn't just read it right in front of my eyes instead of trying to guess um but yeah increased for increased damage in range in exchange for fire rate and recoil control i did use this for a very long time um and to be fair the fire rate doesn't seem to be affected too big on the recoil is not affected at all really <coughs> but i did that for the 45 round mag because i like to be aggressive and when i do run into a big groups of enemies say if it's free and i can possibly get triple kill I don't want, or oh, quad feed for that matter, or even more, I don't want bullets to be a problem, and then we run out of bullets mid gun fighting and lose. Um, so that's pretty much it, honestly it is a killer class setup, I love this gun so much, um, I was a huge MP7 fan, but then I opted for this, all the pros use the MP5, so it sort of gives you a clue on what is the good gun, uh, it's either MP5 or M4 obviously, whatever play style, but if you want to play a little bit more aggressive, um, then this is definitely the gun for you, definitely better than the M4. Honestly, the best gun in the game in my opinion. But we're gonna hop straight into the game plan now. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button down below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are in the description as well. Smash that like button and I'll catch you guys in the gameplay. Okay, we are on Anya Excursion. Headquarters, sorry for not uploading over the last couple of days. I've had a pretty hectic couple of days, been decorating and everything. As you can tell, the background is a little bit different. So, uh, if you can tell, I probably can't. Um, couple of wardrobes are the same color, but yeah. Pretty much behind the screen, everything is different. That's what I've been doing, but let me just focus real quick. Someone's got EOD on. Uh, I am really liking this map. I've been liking the 10 vs 10 mode as well. Uh, you can get the small maps on 10 vs 10, which you didn't use to be able to get them. Ooh, nice kill. Um, which makes it so much more fun. The smaller maps with way more people, there's way more kills. Um, 
but yeah, I'm loving this game recently. I'm loving season three. I've been grinding so hard. I mean, some of you guys probably seen on my Instagram and Twitter. If you haven't followed them, make sure you do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Um, I've uh, pretty much done every, every single officer rank challenge I can. I'm thinking level 112. Um, so all the ones up to that I've completed, apart from the two quad feeds, and they just seem impossible to get. I mean, quad feed is far and hard to come by, but seriously, I've been struggling. Come by, I mean, you get them once every blue moon. Seriously difficult to come across. Um, I've tried playing hardcore, I've tried playing drop zone, I've tried playing this one, I've been trying to play 10 versus 10. I've tried many different ways and I've slobby surfing for ages on deathmatch domination when that was in for a shipment on hardcore. Just to increase my chances of getting it, it still didn't happen. But hopefully it does mean we've got a long time till the next season. Um, I've got a feeling that's going to definitely be one of the last challenges and hopefully I don't die here. Please, no grenade. Oh my days, how am I still alive? Jesus Christ, how am I still alive? There's kids behind me, I'm just running away. I don't want to die, I'm trying to go VTOL straight off the bat. Um, that kid's going to be mad how we chase <laughs> chasing and just die, I would be mad at that. Um, but yeah, trying to go VTOL straight off the bat from just calling the UAV. I pretty much use Hardline in every single class as well, just for the streaks. Like, I never used to use Hardline in any other game apart from this game. Occasionally I'd use the one in Black Ops 4. Um, I don't think it was a perk in that game though, was it? It might have been a perk. I can't remember. Um, just skill streaks quickly, but only when I'm going for big streaks like a gunship and it's nuked down 24-7. Back in then, back then. Um, and, and ever since there was the first shipment 24-7 on this game, I've just kept it on all my classes. I feel like it's just really beneficial. I think some of the perks in this game is a guy there. The perks in this game... Ooh, there, why did he run out? He must have thought he'd been shot in the back, but I don't know why. That he literally walked into his death. Um, but it seems pretty quiet usually. I know the, oh my god. Look at the beam. This is why this gun is insane. If he's pretty accurate like that, and this gun is an accurate weapon, you can literally beam from long range like that. And with stopping power like I've got now, it's going to be even better. Where's this guy? I think I was shooting outside. I don't want to get stuck up on. I just want a view tower. I only need two more kills. This game seems. Oh man. This game seems super quiet. Usually everyone's in the palace, and I know the hard. Uh, the headquarters is all the way over there, and yeah, I would run over to it, but I just want to get this VTOL. There's actually no people, you'd see people running through here, like this window I'm at. Can I be in the second guy? Can I? Can I do it to him? Oh my god, I was even missing shots then, we still managed to secure that kill. Jesus. It's honestly beams at long range, this gun is insane, believe me. One more kill. Um, team seems to be right over the, the headquarters. No, no, this is what I mean, I like this spot because you can kill them as they're pushing towards the hill. Headquarters, even I keep thinking we're playing hardpoint, but there's just no one around. There's someone who just left the game. This kid's got a right shield. The only reason I'm not killing this kid is because he's got a right shield. I couldn't hit his feet. He was weak though. I don't know where he's gone. Let's just get this VTOL man. I, need to, I might push out. I don't know. We're all the way over the hardpoint. Headquarters on my days. Yeah, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and follow my Instagram and Twitter. Everything's going off right now. I'm really active on everything. I um, hope everyone's enjoying the lockdown as well. I'm really enjoying it, to be fair. Um, just chilling out, getting a load of things done that I wanted to do. Okay, it's been disabled, so hopefully they start pushing to the palace. That's what I like, I like about this map. Staying in the palace, staying close quarters, and a lot of people running around. But I'm not seeing to be like he's got a sniper or something. I don't even know. But I'm not getting at this game. We are dominating, though. It's probably why they're leaving, but I had no hill time, either. Um... But yeah, just going to play a little bit cautious because I'm one kill off this VTOL. Why is there no one around? Jesus, I don't understand. This kid just got a triple kill though. Okay. But this is what I mean. It's just so quiet. I've never got a COD feeding games like this and I'm playing a lot of games like this. And what I'm finding really annoying recently as well is whenever I search for a game, oh, I kid there, there's the VTOL. Whenever I um, search for a game, no matter what, it'll wait, make me wait in the lobby and it'll count down the timer and every time I join the game it will be a game halfway through and we're getting dominated every single time, it's been happening to me 10 times a day at least can I kill this kid? this gun is insane, wow and the movement speed as well in SMG allow you to get out of sticky situations like that I mean that kid never killed me but allowed me to get out I'm going to push into the hard point now, the headquarters and try and get this eventual AV with two, uh, three kills off there's a grenade Thank you. But hopefully we can get it. Oh my days. Where was I even getting shot from? Yeah, it's super annoying. I don't get.
it why I'm joining the game in progress. I've got to wait in the lobby and wait for all oh my days. Waiting for the countdown to kills off this hurt advanced. Um, but it's just annoying. I don't get that. It's never been like that in any other game, but apart from this year. Oh my days, wow. I'm going to be weak. I'm going to stay. I'm going to have to push him. Oh no, I thought I was going to. I thought he was going to push in close because he threw the grenade in. Because he knew he had me in the corner one shot. Well, I would have thought so. I would have done that. But, hey, how it is. I don't know, wait to respawn. Jeez. Let's try and uh, get some few kills in our belts. Let's see what's going off. Oh my days, how does this kid end up behind us? Seriously. But I'm really, really enjoying uh, the interaction with everyone right now. Um, and, you know, the support as well. I'm receiving a lot of support. I'm trying to clean up my Instagram at the minute. I've got a lot of um, unactive followers. Um, so, so make sure you are following me on my Instagram just to get some more active followers so we can interact. And <clears throat> I will try my best to message everyone back. I do struggle to get back to DMs because you'll be surprised how many people actually message. And it's not just fans, it's not like fans, it's just spam more than anything like people asking. Well, I get a lot of people ask for shout outs because I do have a, I have over a thousand followers on Instagram as well. So I do get a lot of people asking for shout outs which I'll just, I'll just straight up ignore unless you start a conversation with me first and then. You know, if you want to play some cardio, I, a lot of people ask me to play as well, but I hard, find it hard to find the time to play with people. Um, if you see how oh, that kid just got destroyed, if you see me uh, playing ever, if you have the slim chance you come across me in a lobby, I'll be playing so well. I always do. We've only got 12 kills, there's literally no one in this game. There's one guy, and this is him. He's going to spawn back here as well again. This game's over though, man. But yeah, make sure you follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, just stay up to date and just, you know, we can talk, we can interact because I do really enjoy it, so yeah, make sure you follow me down there, link is in the description. Okay guys, we are back in the lobby, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, uh, I know the gameplay was a little bit slow uh, as everybody started to leave the game, but it is what it is, I thought it showcased, I thought I'd, well, I could have gone and got a better gameplay, but I thought I would showcase this gameplay just for the simple... Simple fact, um, it sort of shows off of different elements of the gun and how it can actually beam at range and up close and if you're accurate with it, it just melts. Honestly, really, really insane gun, my favourite weapon personally and I'm sure it's a lot of your favourite weapons too. Uh, and if you've not tried out this class up, make sure you do. It is insane. The perks and stuff don't really matter. You can sort of, you know, a personal preference on what you want. There is be one's better than other. I would recommend the ones I'm using, but entirely up to you. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this, if you do try it out, make sure you do let me know how you find it, or if you have a better variant, make sure you do let me know as well, and if, and if there's any other guns you want me to cover, do a best set, uh, class it up for them, let me know down in the comments below, I'll make a video on it 100%, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure you are smashing that like button, hitting the subscribe button, make sure bell notifications are turned on so you don't miss a video I do upload, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, links in the description below, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys on the next one, peace.